breadcrumbs. Okay. So here's the fondant that I made yesterday. And I also have, um, I made this white one because I forgot to take a white piece out of this. So I made another portion of the fondant. This one has a little bit of a lemon flavor, which is going to be nice on the cake. So what I want to do is I want to take um, shortening and kind of spread it around the table. You can use your hands to do that. Make sure it's spread around evenly. I'm just going to take a little bit. I'm just going to spread it all over the table. Now you can also use powdered sugar to work with the fondant. The only thing is I noticed uh, with the powdered sugar is sometimes it's still, if you uh, roll out the fondant for a long time and you don't move it around, it still kind of gets stuck to the table and the sugar makes the fondant and the edges, also a little bit on the top, a bit crusty, which I don't like. It doesn't look nice on the cake. So I want to try to keep it moist so it just has this nice even look. So that's why I recommend using the shortening. Okay, so now I have it spread all over the table. I'll open up my lemon flavored fondant. You can use any roller that you have at home, but I recommend for you to get a fondant roller because it will roll out more evenly because this is completely straight. Where other rollers, I don't know if you noticed, but um, this is the roller I use for my pie shells and it's not completely straight. So it's a little difficult to achieve that straight thickness with this. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of the fondant, of the shortening around the fondant. Just about there. I know that bakeries have um, special machines that roll out the fondant for them. But I don't have a bakery and that machine is very expensive. It just takes a little extra time to do your own. It's not a big deal. This is not going to stick to the table. Okay, so we've rolled out the fondant, and now I'm going to put this over the cake. So what I'm going to do is gently put this back. Now 
it's placed over the cake, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of the shortening and I'm just glide it around here to make sure it doesn't break on the top. Just a little bit, not too much. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my fondant smoother and I'm going to smooth this for the cake. Just gently press this down like that. Tuck it in a little. Place it as even as possible. If you have nails, be careful not to uh, put nail marks, which I think I did on a little bit on this cake already. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the rest out, but I'm going to be careful not to cut too close to the cake because if you have a little extra, you can always tuck it in. Just tuck it in, it's even, nice and even. I'm going to tuck the rest in. And see how pretty it's already looking. So next what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a border around the cake. Now the easiest one that you can do is you can take two different colors and just make it into a long rope for any of you ladies who uh, make challah. It's kind of like rolling out the challah dough, except you're making them thinner and longer. Just going to roll this out and take the white and I'm going to roll it out now. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll out a yellow piece. Just going to take, um, let's see here. Just take this section here. Take a 
mash it together again. It's kind of like um, working with Play-Doh. Except it holds a little better. I don't want it to actually feel like Play-Doh. You won't be able to model with it. That's the row. I'm just going to put it around the cube like this. So now I'm finished putting the border around the cake, as you can see. Um, in my opinion, it's better to use the buttercream as the glue to put around the cake. What you can do is you can buy a brush, a brush set from Michael's Art World. It's um, by Wilton. It's this little. There are a few brushes that you can use, and it's easier to spread the buttercream with this. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put some white circles around the cake. So I'm taking, I took this cutter, and I cut some white circles with it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put, use another tiny one. This looks like it's about two inches, maybe one and a half inches, and this looks like it's about half an inch wide. So I'm going to just kind of put it off-centered a little so I can make this design. And then I'm going to just put a little buttercream in the back. Kind of put this all around the cake. It's going to be a nice decoration. I don't want to do anything too fancy. I just want to dress it up a little. So I'm just going to do some circles and that's it. trying to make this even. I just want to kind of scatter it loosely around the cake. I just cut the circles here too. Kind of put this around the cake like a clock. Just in every kind of like quarter piece. So kind of like a twelve o'clock, six o'clock, nine o'clock, eight o'clock.
Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these little um, cutouts that I took out, and I'm just going to kind of attach that around the cake loosely, make a sort of decoration. I'm going to make some more cutouts with this as well. more of these cutouts. And you really don't have to put decorations on this. You can leave it plain, just yellow. That's it. Just I had the leftover pieces, so I decided to uh, do a little something extra. Last two, and that's it. I will be done. Okay, and that's it. That's the fondant cake I made. This is lemon layered fondant cake. It's nothing fancy. Just a little bit of circles and that's it. So when you're going to have dinner, you want to make a nice cake for Friday night dinner, for Shabbat dinner, or any other dinner that you have, you want to serve something nice, now you know how to make a fondant cake. You can make it for your kids' birthdays, you can do it for a special event. And again, it doesn't have to be anything so fancy. You can even do something simple like this where it's just circle cutouts and just kind of glue it on and and basically that's it and it'll be a nice presentation and everybody will be wowed by it they'll think that it's something that came from the bakery and it's just beautiful and hopefully it's going to taste good so I will post a picture of this cake the way it is right now and I'm also going to post a picture of it once it's cut through into the center so you can see what it looks like inside and uh, you can decide to double the recipe like the way I did or you can just leave it as a two layer and you can still decorate it nicely. If you want to, you can just, uh, you know, use the buttercream. You can flavor it with a little bit of lemon, just as I did with this buttercream. And just leave that as the final layer if you don't want to go crazy with the fondant. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And if you're going to try this out, I wish you luck. I'm sure you'll do great. It's not difficult. It just takes a little time. You just need to make sure that you save a little bit of time for yourself and not try to do this all at once. Thank you very much.